Hi everyone, my name is Tanisha and I wanted to share um, some interesting information I learned recently. Did you know that Asian Americans are the largest population affected by liver cancer? I was personally shocked to find this information out. Why Asian Americans? Well, as it turns out, chronic hepatitis B is a leading cause of liver cancer. And in the US, six out of 10 individuals with chronic hepatitis B happen to be Asian Americans. When left untreated, chronic hepatitis B can progress to liver disease and eventually liver cancer. Now, what is hepatitis B and what does it feel like or look like? Hepatitis B is caused by a virus, and in an acute infection, most people feel like they've been hit by the flu. They'll be very tired, they may have belly pain, um, they may feel like vomiting, um, some, some may even turn yellow. Most people can clear the infection, but the younger you are when you are infected, say when you're a baby or a toddler, the, more, the higher the risk that you would develop a chronic hepatitis B infection later in life. And this is where the high risk of liver cancer can come. Now, what exactly does a chronic hepatitis B infection look like? It's actually usually silent, meaning most people don't even have symptoms at all. In fact, two out of three individuals with chronic hepatitis B don't even know their infection status. And this is what makes screening so important, but I'll get back to that. Now, why do Asian Americans have a higher chance of chronic hepatitis B than other populations? It turns out most of these individuals likely acquired hepatitis B from their mothers during birth. Oftentimes, the countries where these individuals' uh, mothers uh, were pregnant um, likely did not have robust screening or immunization practices. And so the hepatitis infection may have been missed during the pregnancy or even in the um, period after birth. There are other ways that hepatitis B can be spread though, including through sexual contact and even in sharing household items such as nail clippers, razors, or toothbrushes, because these items allow for sharing of bodily fluids and or blood. Now, given that hepatitis B is more prevalent in the Asian American community and a leading cause of liver cancer in this population, screening guidelines were recently updated. Specifically, if you are an individual that was born in an Asian country, or if your parents were born in an Asian country, at least one of them, then you should be screened for hepatitis B. This is in addition to if you have any other risk factors such as sharing of needles or risky sexual behaviors. The screening test is a simple lab draw that can test for active infection, a chronic infection, or any um, evidence of vaccination. Now, once screening is done, the next best step is vaccination. There are now nowadays um, two and three series of vaccines that can be given to prevent any further infection. In the chance that screening does pick up an active or chronic infection, the liver doctor is the next best guide. They can help manage symptoms and um, monitor for further progression of uh, liver disease and or liver cancer. This is typically done with an ultrasound of the liver and a blood tumor marker. Overall, I think increased screening for hepatitis B in the Asian American population is something that we should all be advocating for. It's an easy way to prevent further deaths from liver cancer. Thanks so much for taking the time to listen to this message.